Hello everybody, my name is Daniel T. Welcome back to Daniel T Gaming, and today we are diving deep into the world of Astina television products. Last time I did this, we were talking about wind cleaner, product gent, and the IMT Pay microphone, but this time we're not gonna be taking a look at a commercial. We're gonna be taking a look at the product itself. This product is called the Pocket Mouse, and it claims that it is an ergonomic mouse in the shape of a pen. Introducing the Pocket Mouse, the wireless mouse held like a pen with enhanced optical technology that lets you accurately work on any surface from anywhere in the room up to 30 feet away. Now, this, this thing right here is actually pretty interesting. I have wanted to talk about mice before, and I think this is quite something interesting to dive into. Obviously, there's the As Seen on Television logo or As Seen on TV logo. And I got it at Walmart for about 20 bucks. Today's video, we'll be taking a look at this product to see if it's even worth that price and to see if it even works in general. I don't even know if this thing can actually work. And the reason why I'm even going to be talking about it is because it's just so weird. All right, let's open this up and let's see what we get. Apparently this thing is so epic it even came with a PC, a PC stand. Yeah, like that's important. God, I hate this plastic at times. Oh, Jesus. Damn, that thing stabbed me. Oh, finally. All right. Now, we should finally see what we get in here. If I can even open the thing. God, they make this so complicated. There we go. So, we get the pen itself. Okay, that actually does feel nice. That actually does feel really nice. The USB receiver. And I think this is the stand. Yeah, here it is. The stand itself. So there we go. There is the whole thing. So, this is what it comes with. This is 20 bucks, everybody. This, this is what 20 bucks get you. All right, so I'm gonna plug this thing into the computer and let's see if this thing is even worth trying. If this thing is actually considered to be ergonomic, right? Like, I mean, it does feel nice, not gonna lie. This is a nice feeling pen but I don't think this thing can actually replace a good mouse, like a Razer mouse, which I, I love using, I love Razer's products. So I can't wait to see how this thing goes, if this thing can even impress me or not. All right, let's see how this thing works. Well, uh, hmm. Something about this feels weird. I mean, it it works all right. I still prefer actually using a real mice over this. Let's see if I can turn on dark mode. Can I turn on dark mode? Okay, there we go. Oh, it works fine. Oh, and that's okay. There we go. That's a problem. You have to keep the thing instead of having it slightly up. You have to have the thing fully down. So that's yeah. This thing isn't working right. I'm gonna try to open up Vegas. Let's see if that works. All right, I got Vegas open right now. Oh, jeez, my computer is not is not wanting this. My computer does not want this. Um, legacy text. Okay, let's drag that there. Ugh, God, this is so uncomfortable. It's weird. And using it on this surface makes it even more weird. Nah, this is not right. I would not recommend this if I were you. And I have a feeling that this thing is also not only gonna scar up this, like this surface here, but also my, my actual desk. This right here is just a little table I got. Well, let me tap out something in Vegas while I'm at it. There we go. Now, as you can see from that footage a moment ago, I was not having a really good time with the mouse, if I can even call it a mouse at that. It honestly looks more like an Atari 2600 controller or even a peripheral, but way worse. There's a lot to this mouse that obviously makes me not want to use it. You'd literally be better off trying to use a real mouse that's covered in tar, wearing boxing gloves, and trying to get a 5.5 on a dragster. And I'm not even trying to stand like your stereotypical negative reviewer either. I'm just being honest here. Now, don't get me wrong, I like the concept of this pen. That is really neat. But, the execution though, uh, it's, it's not that neat, it's not that pretty. And the weirdest thing is, this thing has a little stylus tip on it. So not only that you can use this on your computer, but you can use it on your phone or tablet. Which is, um, quite weird. 
The one thing that makes this entire thing break is the movement detection. It is so specific on where you need to place the pan, and having it on surfaces like wood make it feel very sticky, like it's covered in Gorilla Glue or something. So that whole claim about using it on any surface is way out of the question. Okay, dogs. All right, so I got Portal 2 open, and we're going to see if gaming on this thing is actually good or not. The game, let's go to... Uh, how about chapter two, the cold boot? That sounds like a good chapter to start off. Sorry, that's I really let the first hmm. go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. So I can have some this isn't, um... Oh, good. That's back online. This isn't actually that bad. Five minutes later. God, this is painful. Uh... Damn. Not bad. Okay, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Somehow, if you're not using regular, if you're using this for its regular use, it's not good. But using it in things that it shouldn't be doing, like, you know, playing, like, Portal, it's somehow not that bad. Though, it's uncomfortable. I'm going to say this right now, it's uncomfortable. For example, with the way that the orange button is placed, trying to shoot an orange portal can be a very difficult challenge. Shooting a blue portal isn't bad, but shooting an orange portal though, yeah, it's a bit complicated. Now, if you want to know about the pros and cons, for the pros, one, it's a pen mouse, I guess. And for two, it's pretty affordable with a $20 price tag. And for the cons of the mouse, one, the thing is difficult to work with. Two, you can't do much with it like playing games or photoshopping or even editing. For three, and this is for those that are left-handed out there, from the reviews I've seen, it is not comfortable for those that are left-handed. And for four, like I said a moment ago, the movement detection, it's too specific and it is one of the most difficult things I've had to work with. So if you ever wanted or needed to use this pen for some dumb reason, you better be as flat as a freaking Minecraft block, my friend. In short, this is officially the weirdest mouse I have ever seen in my life. And I know I've said things were the weirdest before, but this is literally officially the weirdest mouse I've ever seen in my life. I like the concept of it. I do. The, it, I like the fact that they wanted to make a travel mouse that didn't cramp your hands like a regular travel mouse. I like that. But with the way that it is and the fact that you have to keep the thing facing down, it's not that very practical. I would just rather recommend using a tablet, drawing tablet, or just recommend using a regular mouse. The best brand I recommend you get is a Razer mouse. Those are good. But I want to hear what you think. What are your thoughts on this pen? Do you like the idea or do you hate it? Tell me in the comments. And if you have any other suggestions for what you want me to talk about next, and if you have any fan ideas you want to submit to me, you can submit them all via Twitter, Discord, or in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button, and if you're new, the subscribe button, and the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.